Here we have the Bullworker Cork Peanut. And one of the things that I really like about this, there are multiple applications, but this just fits right down your spine with your spine going in the middle so that you are keeping tension and pressure off your spine, but relaxing that lumbar and going through. So make sure when we're doing these, we are staying off the spine. But here's one highly effective with your peanut. Go ahead and place that right underneath your shoulders up towards your neck. You're gonna just slowly start to roll that peanut down your spine. Now, the more you lift your hips, the more tension and pressure that's going to be on your back. So that's going to create more intense releasing. So as you go through this, don't forget to roll down and let your body listen. And it's okay to readjust. If you feel like that peanut's starting to twist and come on your spine, take a break and straighten it back out. You'll just roll down your spine until you feel those sweet spots. And when you feel those sweet spots, dig in a little bit, breathe, help relax those muscles. Another one opportunity here with your peanut is to go down the side of your leg. Again, similar to the other cork ball, just re really going through from knee all the way to your hip to just find that sweet spot. And once you do, really embrace it, put some weight into it, breathe into it, and try to relax that muscle. Coming into a front thigh with your peanut, Place that just above the knee, and you're going to place your weight on that peanut and roll through your leg all the way up to your hip, and just looking for those sweet, tender spots. And when you find them, really embracing in and breathing into those spots. A big one here is also to get that hip flexor so as front of the hip here, really just placing that front of your hip where your leg meets your torso and just embracing, leaning, rocking left and right and just trying to find those sweet spots. Just move in by a subtle rock. You can lift up to get a little more range if you'd like, but really just shifting your body weight to find that sweet spot to help release that hip flexor. Targeting the inside of the thigh here with your peanut, Go ahead and place that peanut on the inside of your knee. And then again, just rolling through from knee all the way up as high as you can and back down until you feel those certain spots. And then when you feel those spots, really lean into those, embrace those, breathe into them and try to release that muscle. For all of you out there with tight Achilles, this is a great one to release your calf and Achilles. Place your calf and Achilles in between in that groove of the peanut. You could put your other leg on top for a little more pressure and lift yourself up and then start to work your way all the way up your calf up to the back of your knee. And now you might feel some sweet spots all throughout this area. Once you find those sweet spots, really dig in, breathe into that area and then allow yourself to relax that muscle. Right behind the knee tends to be very sensitive and very spicy where it needs a lot of work. As you work your way down, you can rock back and forth and feel those areas that might need a little bit of work. When you feel those spicy moments, go ahead and lean into them and breathe into those. All right, with this peanut, place it behind your calf and in between your calf and hamstring and start to sit back, really embracing that feeling. You can move it around to get a different calf and hamstring release. Here, there isn't a lot of rolling, but there is going to be that pressure that you're putting into it. Make sure to breathe into that muscle trying to relax. 